Hello, this is, another, this is part two of the Castlevania Circle Moon Let's Play. I am Tommy Spud, and how are you all today? I'm fine, but I just realized that I tried to record this earlier and it screwed up completely, so I had to re-record it. So, as you can see now, I've gained one level. I did some stuff off screen, I gathered some, I gathered an HP upgrade, uh, MP upgrade, and then a heart upgrade. They are hard upgrades in this room. Now, I don't know about this. I don't know. I've had several hard times with this recorder. This recorder is becoming this and that. It was fine last time, but this time it's just being a jerk and not letting me record. And lets me record like two minutes and freezes. It's done that a lot, and so. I'm sorry if I, if I, if I have some cuts in any of my videos, but basically, you know, if I do encounter that problem, I will be stopping, and I will be re-recording from here that exact same spot just a couple seconds later. Sorry if there's any time inconsistencies or anything in this video. Try to point them out, by the way, that'd be really fun, but let's keep going. Now, in this area. Skeleton bombers and mud men and floating heads and everything else. And we come to these guys, those orange guys, floating spirits. They're annoying, but the weapon, the spin with attack is better. Oh! I forgot to mention last time. If you couldn't hear my voice, I'm sorry. It kind of got a little bit screwed up during uploading it to YouTube. I completely screwed up and rebalancing the audio. I get audio from both sources. It should be fixed now, but if it isn't, inform me because I technically don't know if there's something up with YouTube. It reduces quality or something, and, and it screws things up, so if this isn't right, tell me because I have no idea if it is or not. Anyways, let's go on and fight the forces of Dracula, and try to defeat him before he kills our mentor, or whatever. Ah. Bombs. Oh, yeah, that's a really great idea. A lot of my enemies have projectile weapons, and a lot of them can throw them at me. Oh. Keep going. Defeat the forces of darkness and win. And don't die. Ah! I hate those guys because when they're above, when they're above the view, they can actually still throw stuff at you. It's annoying. Here we are. Oh, the skeleton guarding the card up there. Awesome. At least it's not something else. Those stupid hoppers who like to hop on your face and get your So let's keep going, shall we? Down! Down! Oh, level 5. Yes. You should be at least level 5 for fighting the first boss. I am level 5 now, so now we can go fight the first boss without fear of actually being owned in the face. And that's if I... But, as you can see there, I do have knives. Knives are exactly the best thing to face the boss with. Let's go collect another sub-weapon. A better sub-weapon. My favorite sub-weapon ever. And no, it's not the cross. Cross is pretty sweet. My favorite sub weapon in this game is holy water. And that's what I'm going to go collect. Because holy water saves me a lot, especially with bosses who stand on the ground. Cerebus likes to stand on the ground. So that's what I want holy water. That way I can pelt him from all the way from, all the, way from the other side of the screen and hit him in the face. Let us keep going and defeat bats and those crazy gargoyles. Look, hoppers. And the slide can take care of them too. Ah, uh, yes, sliding. One of the best techniques in a Castlevania game because it can, if you can kill in one hit, you can 
it's sliding to from what you can actually keep moving. And you don't have to worry about missing your whip. And now, let us check and make sure everything's in order before we actually go on and face the first boss. Uh, let's see, yep, that's what I want. And that's what I want. I would normally wear cotton clothes, but cotton clothes doesn't give me as high a defense as cotton robe. This cotton robe gives it more intelligence. And that is why I will use it with a fire whip and have strength, plus defense, and plus intelligence. And I'll throw the holy water. Damage it! Ah! Throw! Throw holy water! Throw! Throw holy water! Die! Die, you piece of crap! Die! I don't like you! Ah! Almost made it. You need holy water to get it hit with it before he actually does something bad. Throw the holy water! Yes! Look at that damage rack up. Ah, uh, it's like glass, it's like thunder, it's like bad. Die! Oh crap, it's too bad. Oh, that one does Okay, get you from here though. Ah! Uh, ooh! Yes, I beat Cerebus! <laughs> now watch you burn! Burn! Die! Die! Finally! That boss is a real pain. And having as little HP as I have, I'm surprised I got away with that much. Usually that goes out a lot worse. And I'm like flashing. And that's terrible with you. So let's go on. And ooh! Double! We can do double jumps now! Like a fighting game character. Falcon from Power Stone 2 can do double jumps, and now we can too! Double jumping, the manly way to jump. Unless you can triple jump, and that's even more manly! The number of jumps you have equates to the number of manliness you have, as well as the landing. Now to defeat everything with the firelit, because I have too much MP to waste. I probably can get off going and throw up at everybody. Cotton clothes! But we already have Cotton Road, which is better. Oh well, at least we can keep it and try to get 99 of it. Let's go back this way. Let's try and get to the safe point without getting killed. It sucks to beat the boss and make kill on your way back to a safe point. Let's go! Oh, crap. You know, you die. I don't want to deal with skeletons, I don't want to die here. I do not want to die right here. It's terrible to die! Run! 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 Ah, bomb! Run! Get up! Don't fall! Ah! Oh, who cares? I'm next to the save point. Do I have time to do the next session? I don't think so. I will save, and I will say goodbye. This is the end of part two. Good night, everybody. Hope you have a good day.